Now, researchers from Singapore have come up with a way to use recycled glass waste as sand replacement in 3D printing. Uh, using a specially formulated concrete mix comprising of recycled glass, they've successfully 3D printed a concrete bench. Now, this opens doors to a more environmentally sustainable way of construction as the world faces a shortage of sand. For more, we're joined by Professor Tan Ling Jin from NTU's School of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering. Uh, Professor Tan, uh, I'm curious, how much glass did you use, was used to build this bench uh, that was produced? Uh, thanks for having me. Um, we use about 50% volume. Uh, we completely replace all the sand in our concrete mix uh, with uh, recycled glass. I am asking because, you know, uh, is it, uh, you know, a practical solution to fill the gap for sand in construction materials given its shortage or is this recycled glass part of maybe a suite of other things we need to be looking into? Well, actually, uh, glass is actually comes from sand. Uh, at high temperature, you process sand into glass. So we're just repurposing demolition glass and waste glass containers uh, bottles into back into sand. And in fact, the way we repurpose it, we, we get the choice distribution of sizes and it's ideal for 3D printing. So sand in construction, uh, usually there are different grades of sand. Uh, you have your river sand and you, then you have your sand from the sea. Only the river bit sand is ideal because of the sizing. So when we repurpose these uh, re the demolition glass, we get the right size distribution that we want and they tend to flow very well and behave uh, sufficiently for uh, attaining good strength in a concrete, in a hey, concrete mix. That's interesting because, like you said, that particular type of sand is appropriate for this purpose. Uh, there must have been some other challenges and even safety considerations, you know, when you uh, develop this kind of glass-based concrete mixture. Uh, challenges are the material property. We have to understand how it behaves. Uh, the the mix that we have, uh, the mortar mix has to flow well without breaking up. And then it has to attain strength sufficiently quickly for the next layer to come above it. So it's like good, not too sticky sort of mix, but still flowing well. And then quickly attaining its strength before the next layer comes on. Those are the main challenges. The other thing we have to play with is also the printing speed and the pump speed. Uh, just to have good consistency and good integrity of the cement mix. So these are the main challenges. Mm, and, and, you know, uh, if you get all those things right, I was curious, uh, why did your team choose to create a bench using this 3D printing technology? Ah, so we, we, we print a lot of things anyway. Uh, a bench will actually test the strength of the material and it also checks the flow pattern, the flow path. It has to take right angles. We want to make sure that's consistent as it goes, goes around corners and uh, it can take the layer. So it's, it's, it's like a test, uh, test bit for us, printing benches, see how many layers we can actually uh, build up to and then test the strength of the material. So it's, it's, a, it's for starters, a bench. We can print a lot of other things like buses and we're looking at shelters, etc. Understand, understand. Now, you know, if, if you take this to its extreme, what do you think are some of the areas uh, that we can use this sort of glass-based concrete mixtures, you know, aside from 3D printing? Um, it can be repurposed for a lot of... Uh, the glass-based concrete actually has already been used in some instances. There's a lot of... Well, basically, it's just, there's a shortage of sand, so... Um, we need to repurpose some of the waste sand in, in probably in con even waste concrete when we demolish buildings. We have to repurpose some of these into useful products. And what better way is to make it into a 3D printable uh, mortar mix that also uh, builds quite well into buildings and shelters and uh, construction uh, uh, fixtures. So we're just repurposing a waste material. And then in the circular economy, it yeah. goes back to, uh, as a sand. It's not that as a sand, it goes back to a sand and repurposing it. And so putting them in landfills, you know, glass is actually very bad for landfills. It's inorganic and very difficult for vegetation. So this is a useful use for these waste materials. Uh, 
I have to ask, any plans to monetize this, to make it commercially available? Uh, definitely. Uh, we're, we're looking at uh, what's next. Uh, we want to... Um, it, the equation has to be right. Uh, the cost of recycling and uh, of glass has to be... There must be incentive to recycle glass instead of just dumping them in landfills. And uh, also, the uh, there are a lot of advantages in 3D printing. So this is a... It's actually a boost of 3D printing because you can actually control the size of the particles when we actually uh, uh, re uh, change or uh, recycle these uh, glass, uh, disposable glass. All right. Well, we'll leave it there for now. But uh, thank you for your time and sharing uh, this uh, uh, new process with us, Professor Tan Ming Jen from the School of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering in NTU there.